Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we discuss one requirement related to ACLs. So let's go to my screen. I will show you. This is the scenario which I'm talking about. Service now ACL scenario and it is restricting incident records to assign to users only. Okay. So it means the scenario is we want to ensure that only the assigned users of incident record can view it. If a user is not assigned to the incident, then they should not be able to see it. Okay. Simple requirement, but we have to achieve it through ACL. So along with the solution and everything steps, we have formulated this post here in service Mode spectacular. You can go and understand it properly. Okay, every step is mentioned here with screenshot so that you can test it also in your PDI. This is the best way to understand. Okay, so now let me show it to you right away in the instance. So this is my PDI. I have already increased the role. You see right now I'm a security admin here. So now let me go to ACL access control. So here click on new. So we will have type as record because we have to act on the record. Operation will be read because we want to hide and view, right? So that's why it is read. Decision type, let me take it allow if at the moment. But this is interesting, okay? We will have to change it. Then we'll see why. So what is decision type? It defines whether the ACL should allow access or deny access, okay? So now let's uh, move forward for the time being. In this particular requirement, we will use advanced. It means we have to write a script. Okay. So now let's select the table here and table is incident. We will not select any field because this is a record level ACL because we want to hide view the complete record. Okay. That's why nothing here in this particular drop down. Now applies to no condition. We have all the condition. We know that no role required here. Okay. We'll skip all this. We will come to script directly. And here we have to write a script. So in this particular uh, post, I already have written the script. Let me copy it. I will explain you just a minute. Paste it here. Very simple script. What it is saying. If current dot assigned to is equal to GS dot get user ID, it means if logged in user is same as the assigned to user, in that case, the script is returning true. Keep in mind. Now, let me submit it or save it. This is a row level. You can see here verifying the security rules. We are adding a new rule here. That's why it is saying adding continue. So our ACL is ready. A new role is added here, SNC internal. Okay, so this is a default one, which will be getting added here. Okay. So now the ACL is ready. Now it's time to check it. So just for the sake of simplicity, let me go to incognito mode. And here I will open this particular instance one more time. But we log in with different user. Okay. We log in with Beth here. You can also do the same. Now we have two sessions running on the same system at the moment. This one is for Beth and one is running in the normal browser, which is for administrator and that is elevated role as well, security admin. So now we can see the ACL. If you want to modify it, we need not to go come here and then elevate role, impersonate all these things. We should vanish. Okay. You should not waste time here. Directly come here, come to Beth. Now we will go to incidents. Open it. Remove these conditions. You see right now Beth is able to see all the incidents. But this should not be the case, right? It means the ACL is not working. Because in ideal case, Beth should be able to see only incidents which are assigned to Beth, right? So now let's come to the incident, sorry, ACL. Now we will make a change in this decision type. Deny unless. After deny unless, click on save. So now you see it is deleting the previous one and adding a new row level here. 
click on continue let's see if there is any change after saving you will see the description is changed here now read the description carefully deny the read it means don't allow reading of incident it means seeing of incident unless user have the role snc internal and acl script written true it means if the user has this role and the acl is returning true then deny the read okay deny the read it, it means the incidents which are not assigned to the logged in user deny it okay so it is uh, working in the same way so i hope it will work here now let me go to uh, beth again okay this is beth right reload it you will see it is working now because beth first of all has this role snc internal along with that that acl script is returning true because right now the logged in user is beth in this session as well as the assigned to user is also beth it means that particular ACL script is returning true along with that role. That role, just keep it aside, okay? It is out of box. It is default, but our script is returning true. And as the script is returning true, you see the read access is denied here for all those incidents which are not possessing the condition, right? So this is how it should work. You have to write, you have to understand by you know, doing R&D, doing a eat and try here until unless you understand it properly, okay? So just read all these things. What is the meaning of deny access? What is the meaning of allow access? Each and every line is a very, very important here, okay? You have to properly focus on these meanings and then configure your ACL. So I hope you understand it. Go to Service Now Spectacular. This is a spectacular website which I am designed here. You get all the interview questions. We are adding n number of topics here in complete details. 50 50 questions we are adding. You can see mock interviews. You can see use cases for all the topics. You can see implementation challenges. A lot of things are there. Okay. So just use this wonderful resource and you can, okay, configure ACL also based on that. I will provide the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.